The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a quick look at some of these markets, starting off with the DAX. As you can see, it continues to form, uh, perform to the Fibonacci levels, matching up with the patterns pretty nicely. But the one we really need to focus on today, folks, is something that's in the news and I think is important to talk about, and that is the fact that we're looking at the British pound here. Now, one of the questions that one of our listeners po poised to me yesterday was the fact that all this stuff was all manipulated and fake news or whatever you want to call it. It might be, but it performs you know, to the context of these numbers that we look at, we've been very bearish the British pound for quite some time. And yesterday you had the most bullish thing that they could possibly come up with recently anyway, was a deal with Brexit. And as you can see, all the market could do was to take out the previous day's high by 15 pips, which is uh, less than $90. And, uh, and then has, you know, started to move down to the target that we think we're hitting towards is the 124.65. You'll notice that during the September, October, November period, we had a beautiful 135 pattern. Each one of those retracements was uh, spot on uh, within a 1% of the 78% swings, uh, each of them. And now, you know, we're heading down to a double target at roughly 124.75. Uh, That's about three handles from where we are right now. But there was bullish news. It didn't respond well to it. That's always a, a troubling spot. So... Uh, I believe these markets perform to, you know, to what they're supposed to do. I mean, I don't understand the, you know, the underlying relationships of the technical analysis. I can see why it happens, but how you add the fundamentals to it, to me, makes no sense. Because if you look at the charts, it's the sum total of all the buyers and sellers. And somebody has inside information. There's no, there's no question about that. But if they're buying, prices go up. If they're selling, prices are going down. Now, one of the keys, and we're at real, real, really big support here in the stock market today, folks. Uh, new lows in the, in the uh, NASDAQ would not surprise me. There's a big ABCD there. Uh, same thing in the S&P. But uh, we need to get below 27, 50, 26. 50 in that S&P to get it start moving down. And once below, once we get below uh, 26 in the S&P, which I think is coming, uh, we'll probably be heading towards 1900 in the S&P. That's my long-term uh, price objective on this swing. And then we're going to have some tremendous volatility uh, going into the uh, new year, which I think will be really exciting. All right, that's the British pound. Uh, we, we're looking that we're heading down towards this uh, 124.75. There's also, uh, yes, 1900. Let me just get this out here for you. I'll show you why that is. I, uh, I uh, don't have the, uh, let me just get the uh, chart up here. I'll let you do the work on this. Uh, Maria, and you'll be able to see this is, and you know that that is not a big deal, Maria. 1900 is just a, a normal type correction. We've done these before. And if you do that 1.618 expansion on the move from February to October, that takes you to 1900. That's not a big deal. Hey, look, they've been riding this puppy up for nine years with no 20% correction. And now when they get one, they're going to be really surprised. And, you know, that probably, it's probably going to be, well, it will be a good buying opportunity. So we'll see. <laughs> well, it's just my opinion. Remember, I'm just looking at charts. I'm just as they go through these levels, that's the key thing, you know, to pay attention. And we and we know that there's complacency in the market because we see that in the uh, the the VIX index. There's just no one's taking protection on uh, on volatility, and we're starting to see volatility just about everywhere. So I think it's important that we remember, and that's why you have to use stops in these markets because once they once they move to these levels, I mean, you're looking at some really big things that will uh, you know really shake you up.
So you could see, well, yeah, look at look at 1900. I, I, I don't have that chart in front of me right now, but that's one of the levels that I'm uh, watching. I go back and look at the, the big lows that we had way back in, um, oh, shucks, I guess it would be, yeah, check check the 382 of the uh, 2009 low, which was around 6600, and then see. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's uh, let's move on. Uh, uh, Tom Tom O'Brien was talking about the bond market, folks. We got a you know I. You know, I post some of these trades. You know, the one that we really owe our hats to, of course, is uh, Mr. Z's call on the natural gas at 275. It hit 490 yesterday, and it's having swings like you just can't, uh, you just can't believe it had. Look at this last night, just to give you an idea how how rocking and rolling the natural gas is. Hold on here one second here. You'll notice that. The big eight. There's a big A B C D there. That's a that's a three thousand dollar move, folks. And then it rallied back again. And then after that, it went all the way down to four point four. So these swings that we're having in natural gas is really, uh, really, really big. So that's the that's the key thing to uh, pay attention to. Now uh, let's move on here to a couple of things that we need to be talking about. Uh, one of them, of course, is the uh, uh, the, the the gold market, we've had a pretty good bounce in the gold. We're up against this 78% uh, level again. Whether we get through there or not, you know, we'll have to uh, we'll have to wait and see. But we're at a, a really interesting level in that. But let's get to the Treasury bonds because this one looks like a very, very interesting one to me uh, on a longer-term play. Uh, I'm very bearish bonds and notes. As most of you know, they've been coming down. Uh, quite a bit, and I hear is uh, is this the bond chart? Let's hope that it is. Nope. That's uh, just give me one second here. Hold on, my my alert is going off. It's telling me that certain prices are hit. The uh, the Nasdaq is now making new lows now below that level. So uh, that that is down below that 78. But there's some there's some prices down there to pay attention to. And as we come into early morning, there's probably some news pushing this down. But overall, as we've been saying for quite some time, there's been a very bearish tone to the market, and it's continuing. Uh, and if we see these swings intraday, you know, you see these, we had a 40-point swing, a 20-point swing, and they usually stop right near those FIB numbers that we look at, with usually within a percent or two, and it makes it, uh, you know, very interesting. Unfortunately, you have to stay up all night in order to do that. Bear with me one second here, because I need to uh, turn on the, hold on one second, I have to turn off the uh, the the uh, my beeper in the Nasdaq and I want to pull up that chart because it was set and when I have them set yes uh, we're we're down here let right now let me just give you this uh, picture of what I'm looking at and I don't know if it's going to be right or not but every time you try to sell these lows they hand you your head so this is what we're watching right now and I believe uh, the 78.6 is setting down here another 40 points lower. Uh, in that, so we'll we'll watch that. Let's get this up here to take a look at it because uh, I am. Excuse me, hold on. Someone's, you know, someone, <laughs> folks. I, these stock, these stock index, these charts are so bearish that, you know, it's just it, it it's just really. Uh, uh, hold on, oh, shucks. Just a minute. Just a second here. I got a slight problem. Okay, let me turn this monitor off. Otherwise, we'll be right there. Okay, all righty. Now we'll take a look here. All right, let's get back. We'll take a little break and we'll be right back and we got to, we'll talk some uh, currencies here. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have a caller from Philadelphia. Mr. Z, how are you doing today? Hey, Larry, I'm doing very well. Thanks for uh, thanks for your guidance on the S&P and that ESZ chart. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, I've, I've noted this, you've seen it, we've talked about it, but um, I wanted to ask you if you could elaborate if, if uh, of the people that you talk to, have dealt with over the decades and yourself, have you ever used with any success this uh, cycle, uh, it's called the Saros cycle. It's in the category of an astro cycle. Um, it's an 18-year cycle, and uh, the, the, the similarity that I see between the S&P 500 uh, price action here in 2018 being eerily comparable thus far to 2000, um, uh, so, uh, so I make that observation. I'm wondering if you've ever used that cycle or know of anybody who has used it in detail in the past. No, John, I'm not. I've heard of the cycle, but I'm not familiar with it at all. The only 18-year cycle that I'm aware of is that node cycle of the moon. That was the work that um, Wells Wilder did with the uh, Delta phenomenon. And that was the only one that I that I know of. You know, I'm 18 years is way past my pay grade as far as a trading cycle. But I, I look at the shorter term, you know, time cycles. So I really I'm not familiar with that one at all. Norm Winsky would be a good person to ask. We'll have him on on the 22nd of November, and if you remind if you remind me, I will we'll ask him about that. I'll write a note to uh, to ask him about it. But no, I'm I'm not aware of it. I know Alfie Lavoy must know about it, and certainly Bill Meridian certainly knows about it. So those are the folks that you would probably best ask. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I'll just say as follow up. I learned, actually, uh, you know Tommy DeMarc very well for a great, for actually decades now. 
Uh, it was a concept I learned from Tom long ago uh, of the idea of the utility, the value of finding market analogs. And uh, from time to time, and it's not all the time, and maybe it's a little bit more than rarely, market actions in the present uh, from time to time repeats almost precisely a pattern that happened in the past. And as I'm looking at uh, 2018 with the rally preceding that, 16 into 18, that looks eerily similar to the S&P pattern of 2000 and the 98 to 2000 advance as prelude to that. And I'll just repeat, I mean, we've looked at the charts together, but I'll just repeat it here. In 2008 and 2018, the S&P made a high in the first quarter, March in 2000 and January in 2018, made a secondary high, effectively a double top, in the third quarter, uh, uh, October 3rd this year and September in 2000, uh, and then declined steadily into year-end into 2000. And so I'm just thinking until proven wrong, uh, my model is that 2018 drifts lower, and it's not crash, but drifts lower uh, like it did in 2000 into the end of the year. So uh, I just share that observation, and uh, maybe if that's of, of help, maybe it's not, we'll see. Well, I, I certainly appreciate your comments because, you know, I believe in the repetition. I see that all the time, and it's one of the things I preach. I know to the no avail sometimes because it gets a little boring, but these markets do the same thing over and over again. It's just really amazing. By the way, John, you had several kudos uh, today in the room about your call on the Japanese yen yesterday at the 114.20 level. We've now broken 113, so good job on that one. And, of course, your natural gas is just absolutely rocking and rolling. You know, John, yesterday there was a $14,000 swing up and down in the natural gas. I'm sure you're aware of that, but that's uh, not for the faint of heart over there, but it's a good tradable uh, vehicle. But boy, is it rocking and rolling. And I, and I understand from what you posted this morning, a lot of this is due to the weather. Yeah, the, it, here's the idea, and I've been uh, working with this idea for months now. And, it, and of course, that does not help us whatsoever with what happens the next hour, the next day, the next week. But uh, we all know two things. One, natural gas and oil production in the U.S. has been ramping up just dramatically since uh, 2012. Uh, it's uh, horizontal drilling, it's hydraulic fracturing, and the uh, implementation of new sensing technologies to get at oil and gas reserves, you know, down under, uh, down underground. The interesting thing, however, is that despite natural gas production this year being 7% higher year over year, and just, just for your, uh, you and your listeners, Larry, a supply increase in the United States of natural gas, 7%, and that's just coming out of the ground every week, 7 up 7%. It hasn't been seen for decades. I mean, you saw it back in the 10, 10, 20s, 30s, but it hasn't been seen since then. And despite that fact, demand is huge, and uh, demand that is natural gas replacing coal in power generation and export market, and we're shipping lots of gas via pipe down to Mexico, and now there's LNG, liquefied natural gas exports overseas. And uh, so that demand is so huge that uh, inventory additions have been lagging, meaning there's just not enough gas in storage to avoid a, a supply shortage if, and this is a big if, if, Winter is colder than average. And the other mm -hmm. thing we all know, the past pre, uh, three preceding winters have been warmer than average. 
Now, does that mean this coming winter for the entire winter is going to be colder than average? No, it doesn't mean that at all. But, you know, it's coming. You know, sometime we're going to get a colder than average winter. Uh, and, of course, uh, the, the, the cold we've had just the past week or two doesn't say anything about the next 17 weeks. But you never know. And uh, if it is colder than average with these lower than average inventories, um, the unthinkable high price is something uh, I suspect needs to be prepared for. So, um, so, so there you go. Well, that, that looks like a really good one. We'll keep it on. And please keep us informed in the den because you do a super job. Uh, we Larry, really thanks care. so much. I will well, um, uh, lastly uh, ask you this. On that dollar Japanese yen, USJY, mm -hmm. just remember, and of course that's down near 113 now, and that's not the yen, that's the dollar priced in yen. Yes, that's correct. Um, so that's starting to fall a little bit. Uh, I can't help, well, I've got my reasons to speculate that a major decline in USJY it could certainly be. And I'd appreciate your help yep. navigating the short term on that, please. Thank you. Well, I will. Okay. Mr. C, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, folks. Uh, 
I'm going to post something that's interesting to me today because I like to see, you know, huge volatility. And this is the natural gas contract from yesterday. You'll notice it was trading around 406 each, like a, a move from 406 to 407 is a hundred dollars per point. And it went from 407 all the way up to 493. That's a, a five, almost a $5,000 move. Uh, then what happened is it came back and all the way down, excuse me, let's try that again. That's a 900-point uh, move. That's a $9,000 move. It then dropped all the way back to 434. That's another 5,000. That's 15,000. Then it went up from 437 back up to 480. That's another 50. So it swung 20,000. And today, it's gone from 490 to 440, another $5,000. Folks, this is a really wild market. And frankly, uh, if it were a real weather market, I don't think you'd see these big of swings uh, to the downside. If we get below 4.30, 4 uh, there's a really strong probability that the weather is going to look a little bit nicer, and this natural gas could, uh, you know, accelerate uh, to the downside. So these are huge swings. They're not for the faint of heart, but they do follow the patterns really nicely, and it is certainly tradable. But it's not for the it's not for the uh, the neophyte trader. It certainly is not. You don't want to uh, you don't want to uh, get involved, uh, you know, with with that uh, at all. Uh, that that's what I believe. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Now, in the gold market, yesterday we had that really nice bottom that came down where we had a double bottom uh, in the uh, uh, at that 1197 level. We've now rallied up to uh, 417, three, <laughs> 1217, and so we want to watch that. We could easily get another $10 rally in the gold from this level, but. The first level, of course, is up um, $20 from the low, and it's important. Going below that low of 497 would be a very, very bearish scenario uh, in gold. And as you know, we, we do have a sort of a bearish scenario out, outstanding. If we take a look at what silver has done, folks, you want to see a market that really doesn't have any friends. Uh, you, you can see silver since November. We went down. We made that three drive to a bottom. That's when we were making the gold at 1197. That came in pretty much spot on. But you can see we've only been able to rally, you know, a paltry 25 cents, which is, you know, really not very much in silver. So this is giving you some indication that there's something wrong wrong with the precious metals, at least how we look at them, you know, so far today. Let's switch over here to the dollar index because there's a battle going on in the dollar index. Uh, here's where we were yesterday, and we backed off a little bit. The last, uh, this was where we were Sunday, excuse me, for Monday, Tuesday, the first couple days of the week, we hit that 97.70 level, which was the 1.27. Now we backed off a little bit. Uh, my my assumption is we might get as low as 96. Uh, that would, I'll show you where I think the euro could go if it does that, but this market is still in an uptrend. It's broken out of long-term weekly patterns, so you, you really have to respect that. It might reverse, and if it does, it's going to tell you. It'll, it'll yell and scream at you. It'll drop like a rock for, for no reason at all, and then you'll be able to see that the trend has changed. But until that happens, the dollar looks like it's very, very strong. The euro looks like it's uh, you know, pretty weak. So watch this one closely. Remember that uh, what we just talked to with Mr. Z about the yen dollar at that 114.20 level, that, that has started off really good. We've seen what's happened with the Canadian dollar. That's still acting good. But, uh, you know, these things could change in a heartbeat because of the news that's out there. You also have the Brexit thing that we talked about when we started the show, the fact that the British pound could not take the good news and is now heading down towards that 124.75 level, it looks like, in the uh, – in the British pound, but that's uh, those the, those are just the numbers that I'm looking at, folks. I don't know whether they're going to hold up or not, but they certainly have a uh, a really high preponderance of working because the markets do repeat over and over again, and that's one of the things that we try to do when we when we look at this is to see the repetition that's that that goes on here. Just look at just look at this here on the uh, British pound 
on the uh, long-term uh, weekly chart. Now, we were fortunate enough way back in June of 2016 to be selling uh, the day uh, before the Brexit. Uh, we had completed a big ABCD pattern up there at the 150 level, almost exactly. And uh, you can see what happened. It had the big breakdown. And you'll, you, and again, you if you'll just look here at the 78% level, uh, on this long-term chart, you'll see that that comes in right at that 124.70 uh, that we're looking at. And, you know, we were trading 127.95 earlier this morning, so it's only 300 pips away, which in these kind of markets, you know, is not very much. So the dollar still appears to be king, even though it's backed off a little bit. Uh, yes, Marshall, I see that there's 91% bulls in the uh, – in the uh, in the dollar index, and that's troubling too. So you know it, it could easily change. That's why we're watching. The one thing is, folks, that the the euro did not uh, actually collapse uh, when we went below that 113. We got down to 112.20, if you remember, and that was right at that uh, first A B C D pattern. It was just spot on. Uh, right there. I mean, you can see we hit it exactly, and then we rallied up to 113.70. Uh, but if you go back now, just take a, take a quick look here. Defy human nature, folks. Do the work yourself. Look at the, look at the rally that we had from October the 7th into the 15th. We had a, a rally there of about eight days. Okay, look look to see what that rally went to. It rallied six, 160. Yeah. It's, Rally 160 pips from that point right there. And if you look at the rally that we had from November the 1st to where we went into November 7th, measure that rally. So if you want to be really creative, go down to that low that we made at 1220 and see what that rally is going to bring you up to. And that rally is going to take you up to about 114 uh, even, I believe. And if we get above 114 in the euro, then yes, that dollar index could have been a big uh you know, it's, it's just a big fake out, and there's always that possibility. So that's what you try to do is to to see if these markets are going to uh, either continue with the trend of these breakouts or whether they're going to have some type of reversal. So right now, it certainly hasn't done anything. It's just uh, it's in a bear market, the euro, and the dollar's in a bull market. How long that can go? Hey, look, folks, if the stock market can go from 2009 – to 2018 without a 20% correction. Believe me, currencies could do the same thing because they move in, in tandem uh, or either inverse of them quite a bit. So pay attention to what the charts are telling you, not so much of the of the fundamentals. That's the that's the real uh, the the real nuts and bolts of the thing. Now. I do want to talk about the uh, the Treasury bonds here for a little bit, folks, because we, we're we're completing here. I'll see where are they? Please give me a break. Where are they? Oh dear. Well, believe it or not, I don't seem to have my Treasury bond chart. I'm going to have to have it. We got a break coming up. When we get back from the break, I want to try to show you what I see happening in Treasury bonds. It's a very nice pattern. It's in the direction of the trend, and I will bring this up to you. I think it will be equivalent to a, a Christmas present, but again, you know, presents are meant to be unwrapped at Christmas Day, so we have to be patient on this one for sure. So after the break, I will be talking to you about the uh, – uh, Treasury bonds, 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real 
Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're back, and we're going to take a look at the Treasury bonds on a four-hour chart going back over the last several months. As you can see, a beautiful ABCD pattern is forming at the 140 level. Yesterday, if you remember, we had a really nice pattern at 138.28. The market dropped $700 very quickly in the first two hours and then stopped and reversed and went right back up again. The way to handle that, of course, if you have a $700 profit and you're risking 400 on the first one, you certainly don't want it to go to a loss. The worst case scenario would have been a break even trade, but watch this one very, very closely, folks. This has some really, um, really good potential if we get to that level. Now, if we take a look at the long term scenario in the bonds, you can see that no matter what's going to happen here in the next few weeks or months, you know, we're looking at much, much higher. Uh, uh, excuse me, lower bond prices, which means higher interest rates. So uh, these rates are going to go higher. How much they affect the stock market or anything, I, I really don't know. All I do is follow the patterns, and this is what I'm showing right now. We're trading at 139.07. I'd like to see them get about just another point higher, right around that 140. Uh, just maybe just take 140. Uh, 140.0102, somewhere in that area. You're going to have to risk about 20 pips on that one. That'll be about $600 because I imagine when we take those old highs out, it might get a little active, but not much because this is a huge contract and there'll be a lot of people fading it. This is a 3A2 retracement with an ABCD pattern, which Gartley was one of his favorites. That was a definition of a Gartley pattern. So that that's a really interesting one to watch. So we will be following that on our 24-7 program. Absolutely, uh, absolutely, we will be doing that without uh, without any trouble at all. Now, since we've been speaking here uh, early this morning, we've just had an ABCD pattern form in the natural gas down at the 427 level. We've now rallied up to 438. So what I'll be watching, that was a very, let's just bring this up so the folks can look at it because it was on a, it was on a smaller time frame, but we'll be able to see it easily just to show you how this puppy trades because it is one. It's just the equivalent of the old pork bellies, folks. It's a uh, it's really a rock and roll one. Let's just get this down here. You'll see that we're we went right down to the 78 percent level of this. So I'll be watching this rally now in 
my interpretation of of uh, reversals is if we get below that uh, 420 level, which is 18 points away in the uh, natural gas, that will be a reversal, and we, we could see some really big fireworks to the downside where we could give up everything that we've gained here uh, in the market. Uh, in other words, going from 404 up to uh, you know 494, that would be a uh, that would be a complete reversal of that, and they would have trapped some people. And there, there's always that possibility, but you don't want to live and breathe on those possibilities because they keep you uh, they keep you too much on your toes, and you really don't uh, don't really need to do that. Now we've had another question uh, from one of our listeners, and that is about the. Uh, uh, hold on one second here. Uh, it's about the footy. Let's get this up here and take a look at it. Here again, we had some really bullish news uh, on the FTSE. Uh, it really didn't react very much. As you can see, uh, it actually sold off. But we've got a very nice Gartley pattern forming in the FTSE down at that 69.95 level. Uh, that's on a 15-minute chart. So it might even be there by now because this hasn't been updated for about an hour. So watch that because it's uh, pretty important. Going below that 69.80 level in the NASDAQ would be uh, – would be kind of tough. Folks, one of the things that I'm watching really closely is that uh, the uh, banking index. And the banking index is holding up relatively well given the fact that they're beating the heck out of Goldman Sachs. And uh, if that if that banking index can hold anywhere near yesterday's lower, slightly lower, it's got a chance here, you know, for a bit of a rally because we are we are quite a bit oversold now in the stock market. And you know, I'm bearish. What I'd like to see is a, a little sideways action here uh, today, tomorrow, and uh, maybe even into Monday, and then you'll get a little three-day rally, and then maybe more. We are going lower. Just a question of whether we rally from here. Uh, or or not, and then you have to watch the patterns closely because, you know, the, we have these 30, 40 point rallies in the S and P. You know, really big. This is not like this is not what happened. You know, on the way up, we didn't have that type of volatility uh, up until the very end when we had the blow off. So, you know, that's the key to uh, to watching some of these things, and it's it's very important to you know not let it get uh, out of hand. That's absolutely for sure. The, the question about crude oil. Crude oil has been damaged badly, folks. We already know that. Uh, we did get down. So far, the 61% retracement has held. Now, the, because this market was down, I believe, 12 days in a row, which is an outlier event in itself, we want to be able to see what the first rally is going to bring. So far, we've not even been able to rally $2 a barrel, which means it's uh, six, six to one or five, uh, half a dozen to the other, uh, whether we we're going to hold that level. So there's nothing to do in the crude oil at that point. Once we broke below that $61 level, that's the that was that 1.27 expansion level. Once we broke through that, it was pretty much a you know straight down move. So we need to be uh, very very patient with it uh, if we do get a bottoming in here. But believe me, you can see how oversold this market is. You know from uh, early October into uh, early November, we've had a $22 drop, and believe me that. 61% uh, retracement on the long-term weekly up there at 77 certainly means something now because it's told us that, you know, it's not going to $100 a barrel, at least not in the foreseeable future. So we'll see what's going on. Tucker's saying uh, natural gas is, is, you know, you're right, Tucker. It, it's had huge swings here, which is, uh, that's uncharacteristic of a weather market. I This is my opinion. But this big ABCD that we just made in the natural gas down there at the uh, uh, 427 level is very, very important. Now, I, you know, I don't expect you people to trade natural gas on stuff like this, but you need to, to watch the technicals of it because it trades technically very beautifully. We owe this to our good friend, Mr. Z, to bring this to our attention, that it's, a, it's an easily tradable. You can put a $200 stop in, and if you're right, you know, you're not going to get stopped out. And it, it hits these numbers just, you know, pretty much spot on. You know, so we'll see that ABCD measured to 425, and it went to 427. So, you know, that's pretty much spot on. So that's what you try to do anyway. We'll see. Okay, now we've had uh, another question. Uh, one second here. I'll pull up the chart, and we'll take a look at it. And that is the uh, – uh, here's the Treasury bond. I wanted to bring this to your attention to show you what happened yesterday. 
You'll notice here, uh, once this is what I did for the 24-7, you'll notice that we sold it at 138, 1.3825. We went all the way down to 04, and I put the stop at, uh, we lowered our stop to break even, and we ended up getting out exactly at the same price. We're now trading at 139.06. We're waiting for that 140.05 as the next trade, but here again, you know, that to me is a successful trade because you didn't lose any money on it. At one time, you had $700 in it. It, but you can't say that you take a $700 profit because you uh, you just literally it's uh, uh, it happens so fast you could easily got 600 or 500 but the 700 was just there for just a second we'll have to wait and see okay we'll be watching these things a little closer we got a break coming up here and then we've got the end of the day and of course we have happy Friday uh, tomorrow which will be good we will have Norm Winsky on on the uh, 20 he said he wanted to be on the 22nd that's thanksgiving he can't be on for that 21st i guess 21st will be norm 877-927-6648 I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics, including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, the fact that we went down and made new lows there in the NASDAQ and the S&P is not surprising. We're at major support down there, folks. Uh, you can take a look at the chart that I posted about the NASDAQ a little earlier. I think we went about seven points below that 
key level, but uh, that NASDAQ is uh, the pork bellies of the financial futures, so that's not unusual. But going below that will be very, very bearish. We're grossly oversold, but we are going down, and I believe we're going down hard. The uh, fact that you're getting good news from Brexit and a few other, these, a few other places uh, doesn't look uh, – uh, very good at all. Someone's asked a question about how this relates to the election. I don't believe it relates to the election at all. Um, it, you know that that's my two cents worth. But remember, I'm a technician. I'm not a uh, I'm not a fundamentalist. I know very I know zero about that stuff. I just look at the charts and try to determine the re repetition that I see and uh, things uh, of that nature. That's what I'm really trying to look at here. I'm really focusing here on natural gas here uh, today. They have a couple people uh, at the 24/7 that are you know, just rocking and rolling in that. I I'm not doing it because I haven't traded natural gas, but one time was a pretty good, but that was years ago. But it's starting to get back in groove again with a lot of volume, a lot of volatility, and it follows the numbers really closely. Remember, the key level in the euro is at 114.20, I believe. That would be equal rallies that we've had before, roughly 200 points off the bottom. And uh, it's still in a downtrend. The dollar index is still in an uptrend. Until that changes, we'll remain in those directions. And the best way to do it is to sell the rallies. Uh, in the uh, the euro or buy the dips in the U.S. dollar, and I prefer the euro because it's so much larger and it you know handles just about uh, everything uh, that you could possibly uh, that you could possibly look at. So that's what we're paying attention to today, and we'll have some more tomorrow. As I mentioned, we will have Norm Winsky on. I believe he's going to be on the 21st. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!